Just say what a big win that was. Yeah, look, of course, it's a, it's three points um, at the beginning of October, so it's a, it's a good win for us. It takes probably um, a little bit, if you like. We thought we should have got something from Saturday's game. So coming into this game, we're delighted, of course, with the three points. Was it a deserved win? Because I know after Salford, we we were talking about not getting the rub of the green, perhaps some, in terms of some decisions. That was a real battle there. But was it a deserved win? Do you think? I think overall, I thought it was a really good. I think, I think, coming off Saturday and what they did Saturday, um, based on the disappointment we felt after the weekend, I think it's. A, I think it was a deserved win. I think um, obviously Colchester, both teams played their part. I saw it was a really good League One game. There was a lot of chances at both ends. Of course, to the, towards the end, we excessively tired. Um, obviously, limited on the bench tonight again. We're, we're one short. Um, we've had one or two injuries obviously come off. So I think overall, for um, from where we were Saturday to the effort that they put into tonight against the team that scored five goals against the, the Division One's top top side at the weekend, I think it's a it's a well earned deserved point. I suppose they were scrappy goals, but strikers get rewarded for yeah. their perseverance, don't they? <clears throat> Possibly, but these things ha kind of happen. I think um, the one thing after Saturday, I think we should be really um, proud of was as a staff as well because we came away from that game at the weekend where their XG was was quite good. And we had good quality chances and didn't quite take them. And we, we, the key thing was, was we looked at the game statistically and um, um, the key thing was to try and lift the players. We've scored two goals tonight and sometimes the answer is I don't really care like you know how they go in. And we put ourselves in the position to score the goals. We missed again two or three good opportunities tonight. However, how they go in at the end of the day um, can obviously help. But. Uh, Anyone will tell you we're not too bothered really. Yeah, because after a tricky run, this can hopefully kickstart a good run. Well, the key thing is we focus on now. All we can do is manage the present. You know, whatever happens now going forward, we, we'll, we'll prepare and do the best we can with, with again, once again, a limited squad. Um, so we'll manage the moment, and the moment right now is to uh, to enjoy the fact that we've uh, again come to Rodney Parade. The, the defeat against uh, Bradford was our only defeat here, so um, it's a good place for us at the moment. So we'll enjoy this one. What about the injuries then? Declan Drysdale and Omar Bogle both came off. What's the the early prognosis with those two? Yeah, obviously Declan um, going into the game having not many uh, first choice centre backs available to us, we we kind of knew um, he may react in, in in a way. Hence the reason why you know Josh played tonight at right back. Obviously. The, probably help, help Declan from a tactical point of view. We spoke about that, so we were able to probably play the right back closer to, to Declan to try and save his legs. But unfortunately, De Declan was just feeling a bit tight. We, we believe he's OK. And the same with Omar, obviously precautionary, because at the moment we, we just can't take any chances. Because uh. I saw that during the game, there was constant dialogue between yeah. the bench and Omar. It's not a type of risk that you want to take, <laughs> given the size of your squad. Well, well, well we can't, no, it's absolutely. Um, Look, at the end of the day, we, we asked uh, young Caban to go on and, and give us legs and every substitute will be used between now and, and the end of certain this period that we've, we've highlighted quite well. That is, there's a lot of games coming up, so we're going to need the bench and they're going to have to be ready. And like I said, until we get people back fit, um, we're limited. It's always difficult for an away side to come here in front of this noisy Rodney Parade crowd. They did seem to lose a bit of discipline at the end and that sent it off. You, you can't do that, can you? That sort of challenge. Well, it was right uh, in front of the referee, yeah, I think uh, yeah. Well, look, it, it, I think that's just frustration on their part. I think they obviously feel they should have got something from the game, which I can understand. Um, it, it, it's probably our character for them, um, and obviously doing doing an action like that, you, you know, you're under risk, and uh, unfortunately, he's been sent off. Okay. Did, did it feel like a big win when you, you're sort of down there? No, do you know? Do you know why it's a it's a, it's no? I don't um, I don't quite buy into that. The reason being is that um, we feel we should have got more from. Two or three of the games we played in in uh, September. Um, obviously, going into Saturday's game, 50% of those results in September were we we had we hadn't been beat. Um, the two defeats in September were pretty hard to take in terms of the goals we conceded, especially here at Rodney Parade. But we felt, as a staff, we worked really, really hard. Um, and credit to everybody. Uh, statistically, we looked at it, and certainly on Saturday, we've gone. Look, from our point of view, we need to keep you up and ready to go. And we said after the game Saturday, I thought we were good Saturday. Mm. We were really good and statistically we were really good. We took the emotion away from Saturday mm. as a staff, which we needed to do. We presented to the team yesterday. We didn't necessarily talk about five goals, 5-4 four, four in this game that Colchester played. And we spoke about what we can bring and all we asked for was the same. 
with a bit more clinical. Now, the type of goals you scored, you would probably say are not quite clinical, but um, it's a great credit to everybody to be able to keep an emotional tab on ourselves going into this game. Um, but once again, we've won at home at Rodney Parade, and it's, it's uh, any three points you get are always pleasing. And um, coming off the back of, as you said, the run, of course it helps. Um, alluding to the injuries, I mean, that was noticeable. You, you sent Omar and James down here because you. I I guess you don't want them sat on a bench. Yeah, you we, can't afford any yeah, anymore. We've we've planned for a kind of recovery month, and the key thing is we're looking for every kind of because we are getting kicked while we're down. Um, and the key thing is is we're still breathing, so we have to try and do everything we possibly can to make sure we have players available for every game. And this might be what October looks like, but hey ho, we are Newport County, so we'll deal with any adversity that comes our way, like we, we like in the past they've done and, and, and like we're doing now. So we manage the moment, get into the heat, get get showered, and, and don't come back onto the bench. Um, and, and now it's a case of uh, head count tomorrow morning. And we move forward, but there's a lot of positives to take from the last two games especially. A lot of positives to take, and we can really work on that going forward. And a lot of coaching to do as well, when you look at some of the young and experienced mm. players that have come on the, are on the field tonight, I thought there were some really good performances. I was going to ask, uh, first league, league two starts for both Josh and um, uh, Mike Bonds, well, yeah. how, how did you like that as a yeah. former defender? Uh, of course. Yeah, um, I thought, look, Josh is still learning the game. He, mm. He's When you think about it, he's very raw. Uh, even you could say the same about Matt. Um, I think we, we, we tactically chose that moment tonight to play him closer to Declan to help him. Um, the adjustment into centre-back uh, took a bit of time um, because we think that he needs to develop into that. So we have a plan to play him in a certain position in a certain way to help him develop. Um, thrown in at the deep end. And he had a right good goal against uh, Hoyle. I know those forward lads, especially Tavado, is, is an exceptionally tough opponent to play against. And I thought he was very good. Matty um, will grow into that position and he can, he can play as advanced, he can play deep, same as Payne on the other side. So I think um, it was good to be able to strategically call on Macott tonight, um, mm. Shane McLaughlin, to come off the bench. I think that was a real uh, key thing because when you look at the bench, there's not a lot of experience there. Um, so we had to be careful about how we how we picked it tonight. But a good performance from Matt. He needs to build on that now. He's still got plenty to do and plenty to learn. But he can be pleased with his performance tonight. Is there any inkling with Adam? How? Because I think. Yeah. Look, we, we Adam kind of it's kind of similar in a way. Uh, I believe there's a scan happened today. I think he's in and around the ground tonight. Um, we're just uh, we're just looking at it and look at it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, no. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna turn around and say, "Oh, well, yeah, maybe he's gonna be back next week." I, don't, I think there's a period of time he's gonna be out with, with, with the quad. So uh, we just need to find out what length of time. Is there any chance of getting any of the lone boys that you've got out in to no, help with the squad? No, 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 no we, we can't. We can't do it because. Uh, well, who is there? Uh, oh, Harrison yeah, there's, there's, there's Harrison, and, and, and the difficulty with that sometimes is. Is that a detriment to those mm. two young players that need to be playing really because um, at the moment they'd probably come back and, and sit in their bench and it's like, does that really help either? You know, I, I know uh, Sam's been playing and he scored a couple of goals at Wheelstone and obviously um, Brighty's been playing for, Bar for Barry and getting games. I think that's just as important for them and we'll have to make sure that it might come to a stage where obviously one or two academy young, young academy products will have to step up, and they certainly will do as we go into the, um, the, the, the EFL Cup competitions, EFL Trophy competitions. Sorry. So, um, like I said, we'll manage the moment, and we'll worry about the next day when it when it comes, and that's all we can do right now at the moment. Can I just ask how you're enjoying the new sort of directives? You're not allowed to. You've got to stay on the bench, haven't you? Is that? Uh, a, yeah, it's 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 interesting because it's. Um, as long as you can have a rapport or a dialogue with the with the officials to understand that it's how I have to step forward or actually the gaffer has to step back, back. yeah so it's kind of you're kind of getting used to it but um uh, look, we just get on with him. He's not a man for stepping back either, is he? Who no, he's very, very rarely does he give up that. That you know, he was a big, strong defender, so he's not going to. He's not going to give a lot of space. Um, so uh, we just we just deal with it when we can. Apparently, the, the rule is one up or two up, uh, one one down. Like that. Yeah. But look, at overall, uh, we should be really proud of of what we've done tonight in terms of uh, digging in, coming off the back of Saturday. I thought we were really good as a as a whole club, really, uh, on and off the pitch. Kiban, Kiban Rai, you've mentioned about good performances tonight. Uh, another impressive cameo for him. Is he pushing towards uh, potential more more minutes in the team? 
Well, I, I believe so. When you, when you look at the current situation, I think anybody should feel that way. If they're not, well, you know, you, you, you've got to look at yourself. And I think Caban had a good impact on, on Saturday. Um, we asked this of, of our subs, and again tonight he's come on and he's worked what is, he's, he's run around, he's worked his legs, and he's got one or two, and he's worked extremely hard, and he has to keep doing that. You know, there's no giving here. You've got to still earn the right, but uh, certainly going into the next few games, you could be looking at different starters, different teams, depending on who can recover.